hello darlings and welcome back to my channel I know it's been kind of a long time uh, first of all I would like to thank you for your uh, nice and positive feedback on my last uh, videos uh, I'm really happy that my what not to invest in Pandora video helped you so yeah right now I'm slowly adjusting to my new lifestyle at my office job um, and it's kind of hard because I have to get uh, up pretty early in the mornings and yeah but I'm really happy and content uh, in my life at the moment and I hope it's the same for you too. Um, I've got new uh, Pandora charms uh, recently and today I was just like uh, resting at home and readjusting all my bracelets and I thought why not do a whole video on all my bracelets and also how I style them and how I stack them also. So I keep my bracelet in this um, cute Sailor Moon trunk uh, case and I keep them in uh, Ziplocs because it helps um, uh, to keep the moisture away from the bracelet and helps them keep uh, shiny for a longer time. In this box I usually um, keep my clasp opener because it's the thing that I use the most when I'm redesigning my bracelets. And I'm going to start by the full bracelet and also after that I'm going to use the empty ones on the or the ones that I just uh, used to stack. So I had one personality bracelet but I had a lot more charms and I decided just to you know make two personality bracelets. And the first one is this one right here and for this one I kind of wanted to um, to get like a, vin a Pandora, like old school style, you know, with a silver charms and the classic uh, clasp. And yeah, so yesterday I got this pair of clips, which I love very much because in France at the moment, it, there's a um, um, three for two promo and it's on all the, the collection, even the, uh, the newest one. So I'm just going to open it so you can see better. On this bracelet, I have all the charms that are kind of family related. Um, I have the elephant with a balloon representing my niece. I have the rocking horse chair uh, charm that represents the babies in my family as well. I also bought recently the mother and daughter charm um, that represents the love I have for my mom and kind of we are the same person. <laughs> We are really connected, so I just wanted to represent that on a bracelet. I have the sister charm here in the center because recently with my sister we got um, like we got really close and I just want to to spend more time with her and overall my family. I couldn't do that due to my depression. I just wanted to be alone and now it's kind of a rebirth for me. So yeah, I'm re really enjoying my time with my, fa my family. There's the best friend charm, which presents uh, the love I have for uh, for my friends because they always uh, like get me a Pandora charm for uh, special occasions, and also my family, my mom, my sister, and I we just love uh, shopping. This is why this charm is on this bracelet, and I just love to go Pandora shopping when I when I am uh, with them. So yeah, and I love those clips. They're just really beautiful. I just love them. So now I'm going to show you my second personality bracelet, which sits on a bangle. And this one is more like princess oriented because as you know, I love princesses and I love pink and I love girly and charm. So this is to represent this um, part of me, of my personality. I have this uh, white orchid charm with the new um, old carriage. This sparkling pot represents my love for animals. This um, pink headphones charm because I just love to listen to music. This is the perfume bottle, really sparkly and girly. The Tinkerbell charm with some flowers and butterflies and the dragon goes really nice here because well uh, in every princess story you have um you have a dragon really pink and princessy here 
there's the new ballerina um, charm that was released in the fall collection a beer with a pink bow because I love beers and this sparkling daisies charm and a crown as well and I love to stack them like together because you know the bangle is the medium size so it kind of goes low uh, on my arm and this one sits on an 18 centimeter bracelet so it's kind of high and you know you want if you want to stack your bracelet it's better to have multiple sizes uh, just so the bracelet don't get stuck together on your arm there's that so those two I designed just uh, today this one as well I changed it a little bit and this one is my pastel theme Disneyland bracelet which is one of my favorite bracelets of course and I always wear it when I'm going to the park it sits on the mini uh, class bracelet there's Chip and Day right here the family fun charm Alice um, in her teacup Stella Lou, this one which is an exclusive from Disneyland Paris. I love that this bracelet is mostly um, blue and pink because it really represents the castle in Paris which is all um, blue and pink. Shelly May, Dumbo Charm, Flying Dumbo Charm which is one of my favorite charms. The Full Pave Clip. And on this bracelet, I just added one Murano because it was too, too full and I couldn't close it anymore. So just to be safe, I just added one of them. The blue castle, the Disney in Paris castle here. The happily ever after charm that I got really recently as well. And this is the, um, the castle from the American parks. <laughs> Also recently, I got myself the two-tone carousel charm because I um, I know that it's retiring soon, so I decided to grab it before it goes away. There's Peter Pan charm, and this one I got it because um, years ago when I worked at Disneyland, I was um, working at the Peter Pan ride. This is it's a small world charm. There's Cookie from Hong Kong and Duffy and Gelatoni to complete um, the Duffy and Friends uh, collection. And yeah, really all about dangles and blues and pinks. Next, I want to show you my Nikki and Mini theme bracelet. And on this one, I added a lot more um, new charms. So this one was a special edition from Valentine's Day. Then I have the Playful Nikki Charm, which is a Disney Park exclusive. Here I have, oops, sorry, the Mini Heel Charm, which I love. It's really pretty and girly, and I wish that they make um, like heel charms from all the princesses. Then there's the clips, Nikki and Minnie. I have here. Um, like the ear heart from Mickey, it's engraved on the bail and I have also a mini one on the other side and the two I got really recently are this one which is the I love mini one in the center I have whoops um, I'm really sorry I'm clumsy <laughs> I also bought recently um, mini with the Eiffel Tower and I know you guys I know I wasn't supposed to get it because um, it breaks a lot but I decided to get it anyway and I'll just be careful and if it breaks I'm just going to take it to the park it's okay I'm really lucky to live like uh, one hour away from the park so I can just exchange the, the defective charms um, there, it's not a problem for me and yesterday, uh, for the 342 promo, I got this sparkling heart with Mickey heads and I just love it. So pretty. It was on my wish list for so long and I finally have it. Really pretty and I feel like it goes really well 
on this bracelet. So this is all my centerpiece. And last I have this oops, the mini headband in rose gold, which my mom got me at our last trip at Disneyland. So I cherish this charm a lot. You know, even if it's rose gold, I'll just be really careful. And yeah, just love it. And she she bought me this one um, because she just wanted me. She just wanted sorry to uh, congratulate me for my new job. <laughs> then I have the mini bow charm with red enamel and CZs. And last on this bracelet, I have the mini pendant. So there is that. And for my last fully designed bracelet, I have my Starry Night bracelet, which sits on the barrel clasp with, of course, the moon and star safety chain, which is just perfect on this bracelet. I have some sparkle here with the love knot charm, the bright star with the moon and star bangle, some iridescent blue merano, I added those spacers here just to add some movement on this bracelet then the classic silver clips then I added this beautiful dark blue globe dangle charm and I also added a touch of Disney magic on this bracelet with the Mickey the Sorcerer hat and this charm right here which is the planet and every dot on the charm represent a Disney park and I my dream is to visit them all. <laughs> There's also this sparkling star charm and here the wish upon a star um, Pinocchio charm and the alien and I also have this pave blue mosaic charm and the um, I'm not sure of the name. Um, the Sparkling Wish Dangle Charm? I'm not sure. But there is that. And now I'm just going to show you the other bracelets that I used to, that I wear like um, on their own. So I have the Castle Locket Charm, which is a Disney Parks exclusive with sparkling CZs right here. And this one, I always like to wear it with these bracelets. You know, all the pastel colors. I feel like it looks really cute together. And I really don't like um, the style where you put all the charms on this kind of bracelet. I don't know, it, feel, it feels off. So I just wear it by itself. And I stack them with my Disney pastel bracelet. Then I have here my Mickey and Minnie open bangle that I just wear by itself or sometimes I wear it with like a mini theme bracelet. I feel like those two could go really well together. This one is really comfy and easy to wear and you know you just have to, to and you're done so it's, it's really easy to wear um, like in the morning when you get ready for work just an easy and comfortable piece to wear then I have here my Poetting Blooms Charm bracelet and this one sometimes I use it um, to put like uh, like mini designs like nature theme or flower charms on but right now it's just sitting in the box here I also have this sparkly class bangle and this one looks really cute with this Terry Knight bracelet. You could just put them two together and it's just really perfect for 
winter. <laughs> really pretty. And this one is a 17 centimeter, so it's kind of hard for me to put charms on because it could be too small. It's too small, sorry. But yeah, those two together look perfect. Another snake chain bracelet I have is the sparkling Mickey head clasp. And this one I just, it depends sometimes. I use this one for my Disney bracelet sometimes. It just sits in the box. I just like to change them sometimes. But I really don't wear snake chain bracelets on their own because I just don't like the style of uh, the clip stations. So yeah. And last I have the pink leather bracelet. Oh, it's getting dirty, you guys. I really don't wear it, like, maybe once a year. <laughs> and I don't know why it became so, like, black here. It's the first time something happens. I know leather is really fragile, but I wasn't expecting it to be, like, as damaged, even if I don't wear it a lot. Yeah, but that's okay. This one I could just wear it by itself or like a simple design and just, you know, with a full moment bracelet and the bangle. So here you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really wanted to tune in and just uh, show you my new designs and my new charms. Thank you as usual for watching. I love you all so very, very much and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye guys!